pancreas is an organ that sort of sits in the belly, but it sits behind the stomach and in front of the spine. And I digress a little bit, but you know, pancreatic cancer, even though we're not talking about pancreatic cancer here, pancreatic cancer sometimes is tough to find because one of the reasons is that it's kind of tucked behind organs. First of all, I should ask, have you ever had pancreatitis? What did it feel like? And like, tell me your story right in the comments. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen, it's good to see you. First of all, what does the pancreas do? Well, it's involved in digestion and it helps regulate our blood sugar. You know, it makes digestive enzymes, things like amylase, etc., and hormones like insulin. And it helps deliver these digestive enzymes to the small intestine through the pancreatic duct. It does other things too, but it's really important, even though it's kind of tucked in the back there. Now it's important to remember that that's the pancreas, but when we talk about pancreatitis, we're talking about inflammation of the pancreas. Now let me give you a little tip here. I'm going to take you to medical school for a minute. Itis. Anytime you hear the, the ending, itis, I-T-I-S, that always means inflammation. So that's why, say, uh, gastroenteritis, um, uh, tendonitis, all of that means inflammation of the word in front of it. So pancreatitis means inflammation of the pancreas. Okay. Now hang in there with me. I'm going to get to the symptoms very shortly, but I needed to kind of set the, the sort of the level so you would understand even what we're talking about. Now I know you're probably saying, well, what would cause inflammation of this organ? Well, two of the main causes are gallstones and heavy drinking. Now, a little bit of anatomy. The common bile duct empties bile from our gallbladder into the intestine uh, through the same opening as the pancreatic duct. And if a gallstone enters that common bile duct and it gets stuck, it can actually block the drainage of pancreatic enzymes, et cetera, from that duct. And this traps enzymes on the inside of the pancreas and pressure can build up and cause a blockage. And these enzymes kind of go wackadoodle and it actually causes harm to the pancreas itself. So this is the process that we call gallstone pancreatitis. Okay, so that's what I mean when I say gallstones can do it. The other thing I mentioned was heavy alcohol use. Now, how is that? How, how can that be the case? Well, you know, scientists are not exactly sure why this happens. It could be like the toxic byproducts of alcohol. We know that alcohol is a toxin in of itself. Um, it could be that, that those toxins cause an inflammatory response in the pancreas. There are very likely other reasons as well um, in terms of how alcohol does this. But besides gallstones, and uh, heavy alcohol use, which by the way, are like 80% of all the causes of pancreatitis. There are other things that can cause pancreatitis too. The other 20% of pancreatitis is caused by things like autoimmune diseases, elevated triglycerides. Like I've had patients with triglycerides into the high hundreds, like 800, 900, 1000, et cetera. That can absolutely do it. Elevated calcium levels, trauma, like injury, uh, autoimmune diseases, if I didn't mention it, sometimes medications can cause pancreatitis too, okay? And when we talk about pancreatitis, we're, often we refer to as acute versus chronic, okay? Acute pancreatitis usually occurs suddenly. Pain is severe. Short term, however, because oftentimes people with acute pancreatitis get better and the, the condition goes away in a few days with some treatment, okay? Um, there can be complications, okay? But that is acute uh, pancreatitis. Some people have chronic pancreatitis. This is a long-term condition. The pancreas sort of doesn't heal and it doesn't improve. Like it just kind of waxes and wanes. It gets worse and better over time, which can cause damage to the pancreas, okay? So now I know you've been waiting and I hope you're not mad at me for going through all of that, but I needed to explain some of those things so that you understand when we talk about the symptoms, why these symptoms are the symptoms of pancreatitis. So let's get into it. Symptoms of pancreatitis, remember inflammation of the pancreas, okay? The pancreas is injured. So you're gonna have some swelling and pain in your belly, swelling of the pancreas, okay? And the pain, um, very likely, especially if it's acute pancreatitis, that pain is going to be very, very severe. We're talking a 12 out of 10. And that pain classically will radiate to the back, okay? Now that's not all though. People with pancreatitis, they get nausea and vomiting, an elevated heart rate because, I mean, when we are sick, when we are in pain, our heart rate can increase as well as our breathing rate can increase. And fever, right? Because that's oftentimes a sign of inflammation or infection. The other thing is uh, there's often a loss of appetite or people lose weight or your poops. Your poo can have an oily film in the toilet uh, and other symptoms as well. So 
remember that acute pancreatitis tends to be more severe, okay? It tends to be more severe. Abdomen is really, really tender. Chronic pancreatitis, however, the pain may wax and wane, as we talked about, okay? Um, the most important thing here, though, is seeking medical care if you have belly pain, no matter whether you think you know what that belly pain is due to or not, because you might not know. Now, you're probably saying, well, how would a doctor tell if I have pancreatitis? Or how would I know? Okay. Well, it's, it's really important to see the doctor because we're going to run lab tests. We're going to check your liver function tests, your amylase, lipase, and so many other things. We're going to check imaging, ultrasound, CAT scan, MRI. We're going to do a physical exam. We're going to see does it hurt when I push? Okay. And don't worry, there are treatments for this, but the treatment tends to be supportive. What that means is we have to help your body get better. Okay. So what do we do? We give you fluids. We give you pain relief, pain meds. Um, if there is an underlying cause, yeah, we'll try to treat that. Like if there's a gallstone that's blocking, that's a blockage, we'll try removing this surgically. Sometimes surgery is needed. Okay. Sometimes antibiotics are needed. And let's say your pancreatitis is caused by, let's say, heavy drinking or alcoholism. Of course, lifestyle changes are going to be important. If your, high, um, your pancreatitis is caused by elevated triglycerides, like that cholesterol uh, molecule, we're going to be working on getting your triglycerides down. If it's caused by a medication, we're going to be working on that. So you see, uh, it really depends on the underlying cause of pancreatitis, but for the most part, the treatment is supportive. I want you to write in the comments, have you ever had pancreatitis? What did it feel like when you had pancreatitis? Um, it can be really, really severe. I want you to write this in the, write, you know, your, your feelings, your symptoms in the comments. Uh, also, I want you to share this video with other people who may be going through this or may need to know this information. Remember your doctor, actually the hospital is probably your best bet when it comes to pancreatitis, just to make sure you end up okay. Because a lot of times people will need to be hospitalized and sometimes for days on end. Uh, guys, I'm Dr. Jen Goddard, I'm a practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos on literally everything under the sun. Please like and uh, follow my page on Facebook. Those of you watching on YouTube, hello. Please subscribe to my subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. That's like I'm not saying, I'm not enunciating you, right? But I'm also on TikTok, LinkedIn, Instagram, Threads, YouTube. Uh, what did I? Well, YouTube, you know, uh, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, did, I, uh, did I leave anything out? Uh, anyway, I'm on all the things at Dr. Jen Cottle. So please make sure you join me there. And again, let me know your story in the comments.